Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, once again, in Windows 10, I've had this uh, question from time to time. You have the questions about uh, screen um, shots, you know, how to do a screen capture. And one of the things is that depending on the computer you use, because a lot of people are like, oh, well, you got to press print screen or you got to do this or that. Depending on the keyboard's um, features activation and the function keys that had other features, it doesn't work for everybody when you do the keyboard pressing of trying to, you know, see what's online and say, oh, well, you press this key and that key and that key. So uh, forget what you think that, well, no, you just press these keys and it works. Yeah, it works for you. doesn't work for everybody. And there is one way to do a, a screen capture of, of all kinds. And I'm going to actually show you in Windows 10 through what is called Snip and Sketch. And this is what I use anyways because I find it kind of easy. And if you want to edit the picture, you can already do it right there from the app. So just go into either your Start menu and go and search for the uh, Snip and Sketch uh, app which is in here and the list in S. You can also search for it. Once you click the Skip and Sketch app, it's going to open up. Now, what do you do from here? Well, here you have the choice of the type of uh, snip that you want to do or screen capture you want to do. So um, here it tells you Windows logo key, Shift and S to snip what's on your screen without starting the app. Once again, that works for some. Not everyone. There are people that it just doesn't work for some reason. So what you could do is simply click New. Here is going to give you options to do a uh, snip. So you have rectangular snip, which means that if you choose that, you choose any area of your screen and you choose the old the, the uh, mouse button or the click the left button. As long as you haven't resized the rectangle the way you want it, you choose the part of the screen you want to do, and here you go, you let it go. What's going to happen next is going to open up in the Snip and Sketch app where you can actually modify it. You can do anything you want with it. You can write text, you can modify it, and then you can, of course, save it and save as whatever you want. So it's cool for that lets you do uh, anything that is, you know, square or rectangle shaped. The other one is good for, you know, just one part of the screen. Then you also have in the uh, Snip and Sketch app the ability, um, and I'm going to stick it in. Snip and Sketch. You also have the ability to have kind of a free form. So if you click New once again, that little toolbar, here you have Freeform, and this one, you old, and it will do the snip on the side. So you can follow the borders of something, for example, an image or an object. And here you go. And now you have that weird, funky screen snip or that you have done, screen capture. Once again, with editing capabilities here at the top. The other option that is available to you in the uh, Snip and Sketch app is the option to do a um, window snip. So if you have a app open, for example, it will just take that window and actually create a, um, a, a capture of just a window of any app that is open. And finally, you have the full screen, which is complete full screen, including the taskbar, everything that you can actually do. And once again, with the option of editing and saving as. I personally find that it's a great tool and it is flexible in the way that you can just you know choose whatever part you want on the screen. And it is um, really, really nice to have this available in Windows as a, um, like I said, a very versatile tool, versatile tool to um, do a, a screen capture of any kind. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.